that's that. I remember that. We were playing that game, that matching game. And oh, I remember that card too. I can't tell you what her name was though. I don't remember what her, well, you know what? That's okay, because we're gonna talk about her right now. Her name is Frida, and she is a very, very famous Mexican painter. She was born in Mexico City, and she um, painted lots of portraits of herself. Um, if you were to look her up and read something about her, you would see that it says she painted herself because that is the thing that she knew best. She knew herself best, and I think that's pretty appropriate because you look at yourself in the mirror almost every single day. Anyway, this is what we're gonna do. Not her, you're gonna draw a picture of yourself. Yourself, not her, yourself. And that's gonna be really easy to do. I have a very foolproof way of getting that done. Of course, I have pencils, I have erasers this time. I'm gonna show you how to use these. Most people use it the wrong way. And I have a mirror. Look at me, there I am. Oh, and these crayons are really cool. They're really cool crayons. They're multicultural crayons. They're gonna be the color of your skin. You don't see any reds or blues or anything like that. All you're gonna see is your skin tone color. So when we get to that point, you're gonna match up your skin as best you can with the colors that are here. And that's what you use, you know, the color of your skin. That's really cool. Not there yet though. Let's go ahead and get started. The easiest way I have found to draw a face even if it's not your face, a face, was from this guy on YouTube called Bruce Blitz. He's a really cool guy. He called it a doodle drawing, when you take a number or a letter and you turn it into something. Well, we're gonna do that. We're gonna take a number. Actually, we're gonna take the number two, and we're gonna draw it in the middle of our page, just like that, the number two. And we're gonna turn that, that's gonna be the framework. We're gonna turn that into ourselves. First off, after you draw the number two, you're gonna put a little dot right there under the number two. And then you're gonna come across and you're gonna put another dot. These are actually gonna be the pupils of your eyes. And what I want you to look at in the mirror, look to see whether your eyes are close together or far apart. Cause that gonna um, dictate how far apart you draw these pupils. This one's always gonna be under the two, but this one could be farther away or this one could be closer up. And this kind of depends on if your eyes are far apart or close together. Next, you're gonna put a circle around it. A circle around your dots. That's the pupils and then you put a circle around it to be your eyeballs. Next, we're going to draw the eyelids. And I like to do that the easy way by using guide dots. One dot on each side of your eyeball and you're going to draw a curved line above the eyeball that touches at the top and a curved line below the eyeball that touches at the bottom. See that? That's the easy way to draw your eyelids. Easy way to draw your eyelids. Up top and down below. Now, check your mirror, make sure those look like your eyes, okay? Check your mirror. They need to be shorter, make them shorter. They need to be wider, make them wider. Okay, good. Next, oh, ladies, if you want to, you can put some eyelashes. Eyelashes can curve out right there if you want to. I'm not gonna put them. Of course, guys have eyelashes, but when you draw them in, it makes it look like girl eyes. So, we're gonna take that away. Since we're up here, we're gonna put an eyebrow. Now, of course, the number two here is the first eyebrow, like that. So we're gonna put the second one. And if you looked at that, that Frida Cole, she really had some, uh, what's the name? I think it's Calo, Calo. I never can pronounce her last name right. I don't know. But I just call her Frida, Mrs. Frida. So anyway, got her eyebrows and she has some really bushy eyebrows, doesn't she? Yeah, I know. Anyway, let's go to the mouth. Now, I don't know if you knew this. Did you know this? But if you drew an imaginary line straight down, you would touch the corner of your mouth. Did you know that? Did you know that? I didn't know that until I started really paying attention to it. But if a straight line going all the way down from the middle of your eye, and that's where the corners of your mouth should be. So that's what we're gonna do, put that there. We're gonna go ahead and draw a straight line. And now look at your lips. Do you have really, really fat, puffy, puffy lips like Mr. P? Or do you have really, really skinny lips? This 
is where that comes into play. You're gonna make sure that you start in the middle. Now all lips have this little hump that comes down like that, but it depends on if you have really skinny lips where there's a small hump, or if you have fat lips where there's a larger hump. I have kind of fat lips, so I'm gonna put that right there like that. Now yours would be much skinnier if you had skinny lips, okay? And then at the bottom, we're just gonna put a curved line like that. So that's really easy, really easy for our lips, okay? Boom. Next, we're gonna draw the shape of your chin, and that's this area right here. Look at your chin. Do you have a pointy chin, or do you have a more of a rounded chin? That's gonna dictate how this shape goes. Now, for me, I have more of a round shape. So I'm gonna, almost like the letter U, I'm gonna start up here, where the eyes are, and I'm gonna end over here on the other side where the eyes are. And I'm gonna draw like a U shape, like this. Very easy U shape, cause my chin is kind of rounded. Kinda have like a fat face, so I may make it bring it out a little bit, especially at the cheek area, cause I have kind of a fat face. Okay, after you get that done, you do your ears. I have kind of a peanut shaped ear, shape like that. So I'm gonna put my peanut shape, so you look and see what you have, and your shape look like the letter C or the letter D. Uh, put your ears in, and then it's time for the head. I have a really domed head at the top. It's like, it's really kind of a crazy dome shape. So I'm gonna start at the top. Not like a cone shape, but more of a dome, kind of like that. So I draw my head shape, just like that. 